Only paper planes on this ride that they let niggas down the slide. Oh, in a six fold whipping, whipping. What is going on, Madness family? We back with another one on this beautiful day. I hope everything is all well for you. I hope you've been taking care of yourself. Back with another semen retention video. Back with another one. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking out the window right now. Getting that sunlight reflecting off a car coming into the window. So we've got to go ahead and just talk about pretty much the things you eat, right? The things you eat on SR, you got to be careful because these things will lower your vibrations to a point where you will want to do some things you, you, you are normally don't do. Like, these things will literally lower your vibrations. Like, you got to be careful with the meat, the meat eaters. All my meat eaters out there. I used to be a heavy meat eater, too. I used to want to eat meat every single damn day, two, three times a day of the of the week if i could i would just sit there and eat hamburgers 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 i ain't care too much about chicken until later but i was the biggest meat eater the biggest meat eater and while i was doing that i was at my i was at my most horny estate i was at the i was at that state where i was just so so done with just like I just I just want to hump something, hump something, hump something. And that's messed up because they literally put us through all this stuff. They literally put this shit in, in your food. They put this shit in your food. They put the hormones and everything in your food to make you feel low vibrational, to make you feel like like you have to be addicted to something. Because the second you start to um Think about semen retention and what it do to you and what it's meant to do for you. You literally will start to gain all your powers back, bro. You, you literally will start to go within and start to think about how I should be literally eating to help gain more of this power. The meat is what's causing me to think like an animal. It's, causing, it's keeping me in fear because I'm going to keep it above. A lot of people out there who eat meat and practice SR some of y'all literally do not know how to control y'all emotions and then on top of that most of y'all have acne still y'all using face cares y'all using face care products and stuff like that to help your acne you don't have to use none of that go outside get some sun let the sun do it naturally for you you shouldn't be washing your face every single day anyways and putting on face care products that's actually scripting the, the nutrients and the melanin out of your skin. Yes, I tried it. And yes, your body does depend on it. Your body does depend on it. After a while, I tried. Yes, I tried. And your body does depend on it after a while, which is very, very, very crazy. Like, it's like that Teej Hen, uh, Henley Weber, that shit is, face, face stuff. It scripts the melanin out your skin. It stops you from, it stops your body from relying on itself. And then now you're relying on this cream. Your semen is meant to fix all of that. Your semen is meant to fix your balance, fix your hormones, keep you, keep you steady. When, even if you think, oh, I'm gonna just practice semen retention once a week. I'm gonna bust a nut once a week. That's still not good. It's four weeks in a month. How many times are you busting the nut a month? Four times a month. That's still not good. They taught us to just bust, bust, bust. Now, like I was just saying, all we know all our life is to just lust and bust. I've been saying this on my last videos. That shit is weakening you on so many ways to a point where it's killing you physically. It's, it's killing your uh, physical body. It's killing your astral body, which is your soul. And it's weakening your aura field, which is why you don't get looked at, is why, which is why you have to speak up when you talk to people, which is why girls look past you. Girls don't want to be around you. Girls feel that your energy is off, which is why your eyes aren't as bright and glowing, which is why you don't feel confident around a girl. You get nervous. 
that comes from all that lusting and busting. And I've been trying to tell some of my young homies this too, but they look at me like I'm crazy because they were so, see, 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 they so sunken in the spot where you have to do this shit. They so stuck in a spot where they don't care about what you got to talk about with spirituality and becoming a better you. You could attract your mate. You could attract your, your, your dream girl with this. You could literally manifest your goals into your life with this. How else do you think we have a seed that creates, that brings a baby into this life? We have a seed that creates, okay? Literally something that creates. That's all you need. If you can create a baby into this life, if you could bring an avatar in, into this life, manifestation, a, a whole being, imagine what you would do with your goals and your craft with that semen. Muhammad Ali practiced it. Mike Tyson practiced it. So many of these high-end celebrities practice this shit. And some of them would say, a bunch of UFC fighters practice it too. Some of them would say they will go six months without busting the nut. Sometimes even a year because they they fight routine. They they trying to keep that uh they trying to keep that vital that vital energy. They trying to keep that because they know how powerful that is. They know how much more stamina they will have. Okay, that shit gives you stamina. That shit, it clears the brain fall. You move different. You able to operate different. You able to do things you normally didn't do. You go bust the nut twice and go to the gym and tell me how you feel. You ain't going you, you ain't gonna feel as motivated. You're going to be tired. You won't feel as motivated. I promise you. It don't matter what you do. You're going to take pre-workout. Pre you still going to feel shitty. You, your, your reps won't get finishes like that. You know what I'm saying? Like You won't finish as much reps. You're going to be sitting here. Thinking to yourself, damn, I probably, sh I probably wish I, sh I wish I shouldn't have done that. Or if you even thinking on that level, you probably won't even think on that level because you so far gone to think that when things get hard, you need to bust a nut to cope, to cope with everything in life. You need to bust a nut. That's how far gone you are. Yeah, man, I ain't want to make this video too long, man. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and shoot that like button for your boy. Hit that comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications. Pretty much, I just want to talk to y'all a little bit more about semen retention and what it does for you. And I'm going to have more episodes coming out about it because as I go and, and, and experience things through life, I'm just going to put it down on the uh, on the video for y'all, let y'all know what I got. Also, from, C, from, from SR2, I'm letting my facial hair fill in a lot more. I'm going to try to try to grow that James Harden eventually. So stay tuned with the journey. I hope your journey going well. I hope anybody who watching this could resonate with it because y'all know damn well you can't just be out active, busting nuts and doing your everyday activity without feeling like you accomplished something. Because the second you do it, your body feels, feels like you accomplished something. That dopamine in your brain feels like I done found a mate and I'm done and I, I, I don't have to do nothing else. This is why you shouldn't do it. All in all though, man, y'all stay safe, tap in. Tap into the madness. Much love, much love. I'm out. And a six fold whipping, 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 almost hit the curb side. Oh, and a six fold whipping, 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 almost hit the curb side.